Okay guys, welcome back. Now this is going to be a quick video on default exports. Now, whenever we have modules that export only a single value or a function, then we can make use of the default keyword while exporting. So consider, the, consider this example. In our module b.js, I'm going to have a new variable let f name is equal to Chandler. And now, since this is going to be the only export from this particular file or module, we can use export default and then without curly braces, the name of the variable. So export default f name. Now also while importing it, there are a few changes. The first thing is you can leave out the curly braces. So we don't have to use the curly braces while importing default exports. And the second thing is unlike named exports, where the name of the variable while exporting has to match the name while importing in module or in default export and imports, the name doesn't have to match. So over here, I can just call it first name from dot slash module B dot JS. Now this is going to work because we are going to be exporting only a single value from module B and that is going to be captured in whatever we are importing. So first name is going to be mapped on to F name. So if we go ahead and log to the console, first name and save this and head over to the browser, we have Chandler. So that's how defaults works or the default exports work. And another thing to keep in mind is we can also provide alias for importing defaults. But the only thing is we need to use curly braces. So default as let's call it F. So this default is going to be the default import from module B and I'm just going to alias it with F. So when I save this and refresh Chandler. So alias does work with default imports as well. Now if you leave out curly braces, you must have default exports. Otherwise, it's going to be an error. So there was a quick video about default exports. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.